News now with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff live in P Town, where uh, the conditions there are similar, windy and rainy. Jacob, how does it look? Yeah, so the one thing that we were watching going into today, Kate, was the potential for a little bit of coastal flooding. And it looks like we have avoided any of those issues. But I do want to kind of put things into perspective for you. We're about 26 minutes away from dead low tide. You can see how far out the tide has gone. But this is where we got to just before 1 a.m. I'm going to walk all the way up to our high tide line. This is where we actually saw the tide go up to. So we had this big kind of push of water. That's why some of the town officials did put into effect uh, some of these sand mounds and some of these openings from beaches. And so they really did a good job of kind of protecting some of the commercial district from potentially seeing any uh, sort of flooding. Now, we sometimes joke that this weather is for the birds. It has definitely been the case. The buffet is open for breakfast for some of the birds here at Fisherman's Wharf uh, and McMillan Pier. They are just feasting on some sort of fish or shrimp or something there off in the, in the inlet there. Uh, Provincetown has long been considered a safe haven for sailors and fishermen. Uh, when there are these big coastal storms, they kind of tuck their boat in around the tip of the Cape, and uh, it really provides some really safe harbor for them, and, and that seems to be the case here. I haven't seen any sort of damage. I took a drive around town a little earlier. The only thing that I've seen is a little bit of tree debris, some small twigs, some branches, that sort of thing, falling from uh, some area trees, but otherwise, we really dodged a bullet here in P-Town. We do have a lot to talk about, though, as we go into the rest of the morning. We'll have details throughout the next few hours, but for now, that's the latest here in P-Town. Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.